Hey guys, I'm Gil Garcia from GilGarcia.net. Uh, let me just start off by saying I'm really excited. This is not only my first video, but also I hope the first of many. I'm planning on launching a lot more free videos with you know free tips, tutorials, etc. on my website. So if you like the contents of this video and like to see more, just go to my uh, website, subscribe to my mailing list, and I'll keep you guys updated whenever I launch new material. Um, also, there's, if there's something you don't understand, if I go too fast, if you don't like my English, whatever, just put a comment on, you know, on the relevant video, and I'll make sure that I'll get back to you. Um, let's get started. Then. Today's video is about finding, you know, scraping uh, lots of domains with uh, PageRank. So we're gonna want to get domains with PageRank as cheap as possible. Um, this is how I do it. Let's let's get started. First thing you need is an account at GoDaddy Auctions. Now, you just create an account. You log in uh, auctions.godaddy.com, and as soon as you log in, you'll be presented with literally dozens and dozens, hundreds of thousands of domains for sale. And the thing is going through all these domains one by one is really impossible you, you don't really know you can't filter the domains by page rank um, and, and you can't really know it's not really viable to go one by one so I have a technique that I use I use a couple of programs and I just filter all the, the domains I just find the ones that I want and I buy them and they are really cheap usually uh, let's see first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to extract as many domains as possible from the auctions website. Now, GoDaddy makes this really easy for us. You can just create a search and you can just download the search. Instead of going page by page, we're going to want to download everything, this button here. And I'm going to show you. I I'm going to limit the search for now, so I'm going to make it. Uh, let's say two hundred dollars maximum on the price and I, I do encourage you to go through the search yourself uh, to test different searches to see the results you know each each person has a budget each person has different needs um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a maximum two hundred dollar website oops it's loading the info and I'm gonna put it just dot com dot net and dot org and I'm gonna search just see how many exist so if I put the navigation and 500 just to have an idea how many domains we have here okay well we still have at least 80 pages with 500 so at least 40,000 uh, domains but that's good we're gonna save this search I have to scroll up and I'm just gonna call it 200 for two hundred dollars and net uh, com net org I'm just gonna call it like this and we'll, we'll we can just order it by domain name it just doesn't really matter right now we'll make it like this 200 let's call it 200 USD com network just so I remember and okay now we have this save search and we're gonna do the opposite so reverse and 500 as well and now we'll order it reverse this time this allows us to get some domains might overlap a bit but it's okay we'll filter them out with, with notepad So, good. Now we have two saved searches here. And what we're going to do is we're going to download these two CSV files. And like they said, they only give you the top 40,000 and that's why we're reversing to get, you know, as many domains as possible. So, first one is downloading. I'll get the second one as well. And now 
if you really want to scrape as many domains as possible let me just put the file here you'll also want to scrape domains with scrapebox so we have scrapebox here and there's an add-on for scrapebox called the TD num scraper now let me just tell you you should have all always you should always have a lot of proxies with scrapebox I'm I'll get through it later if anybody has doubts on it but you should have as many proxies as possible all the time um, now TD num scraper allows you to just do kind of the same let me just put this file here as well Oops, close this so we just saved the two CSVs to a, a, a separate uh, folder by the way so we're gonna want to scrape as many domains as possible how I do it from here from scrapebox is I just use the most common letters in the English alphabet so I use A E uh, uh, uh. I use these letters now I only use once one of these at a time so I'm gonna get A I'm gonna start the scraping and it takes a while because there's a lot of domains with A in it and there you go you had if I read it there correctly around 70,000 plus more domains now I just do this with Oh, I'm sorry, 97,000. I'll just do this for A, for E, for I, for O, T, N, etc. You just do this as many times as you want to. And you then export it. I, I save it as a CSV as well. And I'll save it TD non scraper. It doesn't like save it as a txt but here you can just change it to csv there and we already have quite a lot of domains now you can scrape as many as you want to but i'm not going to go through the whole process uh, again you just go you add another keyword scrape save add another keyword scrape save now this is going to give you a lot of domains way too many domains to, to, and a lot of them are going to be repeated. You're going to have domains from here repeating, you know, with the, the the searches that you have from GoDaddy, and that's not a problem. What we're going to do is we're going to use this nifty program here, which is Notepad++. And there's a plugin that you can download, which allows you to sort and filter out the duplicates. Uh, text effects it, it's really easy but I'll make a video on it if you guys have a hard time so what I do is I just open the CSV I copy all the rows from here back to notepad and now I'm gonna open the second CSV and I do it in notepad you can do it in scrapebox so if you have a hard time with the software, you don't like it, whatever, you do not need to use Notepad++. I just find it so much faster than Scrapebox when filtering out duplicate domains and ordering domains. It's just for me, it's just so much simpler. I just copy paste, click on text effects. I'll show you guys, and it's much faster than importing. Uh, a bunch load of domains into Scrapebox. Also, there's another advantage to it that I'm going to show you. If we're scraping with a TD num scraper, you're going to get all sorts of uh, domains unless you take them out one by one. So you'll get not only .com, uh, .net domains, and .org but you will also I'm trying to find one let's, let's search like this dot biz you also get sorry it's on regular you also get dot biz you get dot info um, you know dot TV domains which are really expensive to renew 
uh, .us domains, which you cannot, you shouldn't buy US domains, just because you can't really have them anonymous. Like it's not easy to have them anonymous. Also, you have this problem: the domains that you scrape from one side, they they'll just be the domain.com. Some of them will come with HTTP www. Now we want to have all these domains as uniform as possible. So what we're gonna do first, and this is why I, uh, I like the Notepad++. Plus uh, Plus. First of all, we're just gonna take all of this from all the domains just to make them nice and even. We just find HTTP uh, and replace with nothing. So we go and replace, and we're handling right now 177,000 domains, so give it a second. And then we select them all again, text effects, tools, and we sort them again. And we already lost 10,000 repeats, as you can see. Uh, if you want to, you can also clean up. all the different uh, extensions. How are we going to do that? We're going to use something called a regular expression and I'll, I'll paste this beneath the video uh, but it's uh, dot asterisk uh, square brackets dot close square brackets and extension. So in this case I want to remove all the biz and what this does is it selects everything that, that's why you use the asterisk so it selects the whole domain and we're just gonna take all the biz domains we're gonna take all the US domains and we're gonna take all the info domains we don't want any infos and we're gonna take all the TV domains okay and that should be clean enough there might be a couple of other weird extensions here oh, there's Moby actually let's let's take Moby out as well but this is for now it gives you an idea so let's sort it again and we have, as it stand, 141,000 lines. Now this is going to be, uh, let's. I, I just selected everything, copy paste, import, and you just add it here to the URL, the URL harvester from Scrapebox. Now, basically, what we're going to do is, and again, have a lot of proxies, as many as you can. We're just going to check for page rank. So, we're going to click check page rank, get domain page rank, and I'm going to go through 140,000 results. So, I'm going to pause the video for a bit, and I'll get back to you when the video, when the page rank is done. Okay. So we're back. Uh, I've been running Scrapebox for around 20-ish minutes, 25 minutes or so. It didn't finish the whole 170,000 domains or something. Um, it did do uh, 141,000 domains. It did do around 25,000 or so, which is a pretty good sample to go on. And I've actually found a couple of good domains that uh, you know I, I can share with you guys. So after you scrape it, Here's how I do it. I just order them by PR. You want it from the highest to the lowest, of course. And there's a couple of uh, PR7, PR6 domains. Don't get excited. A lot of times they're fake hits. So we're going to see if the PR is real PR. Uh, now, Scrapebox does, uh, Scrapebox does have a um, page rank checker. I don't find it all that good. I don't know. It it just it doesn't work so well with me. I don't know if it's my proxies or whatever. Uh, so I, I use another source to double check to see if the page rank is valid or not. 
what I do you can export the list I choose to simply paste it it's not that many and you know you just select as many as you want or not you know go as low as you want PR3 PR2 PR1 and I use this page here online page rank checker and they have a bulk fake page rank checker that you can use and you just paste they say 40 URLs uh, I think if you register you get a hundred URLs per day uh, per IP so y you know you can always just load ten dollars I think to it and you can with ten dollars you get like two hundred fifty thousand URLs or something so yeah it's it's no problem it's not really expensive but if you just want to check the, the top domains a hundred per day is usually enough I've already checked a part of my list and I've actually found a couple of good ones this is how it shows you the list so the two PR7s were fake that's kinda expected PR6 are fakes as well there's a real PR5 here which is actually for sale and I always go and triple check I'm kinda paranoid like that I always come to sec PR or check PR however you read it and the page rank is actually true for this one so we can go and see auctions.go.com and we'll actually see how much it costs just so you see that the domain is actually still for sale and there you go you can buy it now for $200 which is not all that bad for a PR5 um, do you have in consideration you know check the quality of the website check archive.org archive check the backlinks you, you want to make a background check on on the on the website and I'll go through it in another video there's not enough time for it today but as you can see there's quite a few PR4 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 and I mean some of these you can just check the price here I'm, I'm just checking them on the fly so I don't really know how much they cost but I've seen PR4s for $20 uh, well, this here is for bid but you know I, I I've seen PR fours uh, I saw a couple of PR fours for eight dollars yesterday uh, that's how cheap you get them sometimes uh, you know this one is for bid eight days left but you know PR3 PR4 PR2s you'll get a lot of hits you know you'll get a really a lot of domains with it, you know, 70 things.com Let, let's check just this one to to finish most of these you'll have to go for bids you know you'll have to be on the divi uh, this one is price 113 well you can offer as much as you want to I guess but you'll have plenty 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 to choose from and there's a lot of people I'm guessing doing something similar to what I do but I've never seen a full tutorial on it and that's why I wanted to give it to you um, I'm just trying to get a really good price for you but uh, not not right now well anyway just go through the list filter out always filter out the fake PRs you don't definitely don't want a fake PR uh, check the quality of the backlinks check the contents of the website you know some websites you might not get a PR five website but the content might be incredibly hard to reproduce so you, you know you have to take a lot of things in consideration when buying a website and that I'll talk on the next video that I'll do uh, tomorrow hopefully uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the videos I hope you learned something don't don't forget you know subscribe to my mailing list and thank you that's all for today